This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Frigidaire washer-dryer combination unit where the dryer is not spinning. So you turn it on and then you can hear it's a pretty uh, awful sound. If I press in the switch and then turn it on, I hear that sound, but I get, get no spin at all. So this is common with this model. The belt just slips off of the motor pulley. And it's pretty easy to put it back on. So you got to take out these two Phillips head screws to kind of get to that area where you can do the repair. And you want to lift up on this panel and it'll uh, come off the lower two clips. You got to make sure it's unplugged first. We're going to take out these Phillips head screws and this panel will come off and that's going to give us access to the belt. Sometimes the belt breaks, but it's more common with this model that the belt just slips off of the either wheel and then comes off the motor pulley. It'd probably take you uh, 10 minutes to do this real quick just to put it back on. So now the panel's out of the way. We can see the belt just dangling there, just fell off. And that white wheel on the back, that's the either wheel. We just set it back on top of the either wheel. This is looking at it kind of backwards. This is looking at it from the back. We're looking at it from the front. But this big white wheel is the either wheel, the little metal one, is the motor pulley. And we have to stretch the either wheel to our right and then put the belt over the pulley. Now we can see, here's the belt over the motor pulley and then goes down over the, I'm sorry, over the either wheel, then it goes down over the motor pulley. And it's now connected and spinning really well. So that's the way it should look. And there's a little hatch back there in the back that you can remove that makes it really easy to put the belt back on. If you have to do it here from the front, you can in this little access space. You just reach in with both arms and you pull the either wheel to your right and then you reach down and push it onto the little, the littler uh, motor pulley. Now we're just putting that protective panel back on with the Phillips head screws and then we're going to put the white panel back on and we're all done. It seems like these slip off maybe every 15th to 20th load. Sometimes if the load's really heavy, it'll lean a little bit and that'll make it pop off. But it's just a, it seems to be a design flaw. And we're going to put it here on the lower, these lower legs back, these lower clips back into the hole. And then we're going to push the top in and then add the Phillips head screws back in. These are otherwise pretty cool units. They can fit in a closet and gives you pretty good ability to wash a lot of uh, clothes and then dry them. And these cost maybe 1200 bucks. So we zip in that screw and we're all done. We just got to plug it back in and then we can just take it for a test drive, make sure that it's spinning okay. So we're just reaching back, plugging it back in. Sounds good. Open the door and it's spinning. Yeah, back to normal. All right, hope that Thanks helps. so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really like the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for
for your video. Thanks again.